Seven nations greater than I drop near the Kayila Opa, mightier than thou. Take Opa Lem Gilena Maga. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, the Yala Sulem take a sent Kalam, thou shalt smite them, Yen Dingen Len Dor, and utterly destroy them, Yen Yapalem, thou shalt make no covenant with them, Dolen and Ben Polarayon, nor shew mercy unto them. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter shall not give unto his son. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me. That they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. For ye were the fears of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers. Had the Lord brought you out of, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God. He is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments in a thousand generations and repair them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hated him. They will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and statutes 
and the judgment which I command thee this day to do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass if ye hearken to this judgment and keep and do them that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which is well unto thy God. And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb and the fruit of thy land. Thy corn and thy wine and thy time oil the increase of thy king and the flocks of thy sheep in the land which he swore unto thy father thou shalt be blessed above all people therefore shall not be male or female bargain among you or among your cattle and the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil disease of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee but will lay them upon all that hate thee may the Lord bless the giving of this word Amen Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, we now call on Reverend Kagbo um, to give us an exaltation. Let's put our hands together for God. Reverend Kagbo. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. All the times. God is good. We welcome everybody here tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The house of prayer members welcome everybody here in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, and I'm here to talk to you this particular time. This is the end of the year. 2019. Very soon, we jump to die. But I want, I want to ask you one question. A few questions. First of all, I want you to know that I'm going to exalt you on the topic always be thankful and be grateful. Always, always be thankful. Say thanks to God. Let me ask you, how often do you normally say, God, thank you? We have so many things that we're supposed to say, thank, thank you, God. That's why I love this song. That's why I love this song. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you. Jehovah. Sing with me. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Master. Thank you, Jehovah. Things are just too difficult. 
My people, it is good for us to take time. Say, God, thank you for it. Tonight, I want to exalt you in a particular story, which is a common story. It is a well-known story. But I want you to gather something in there. In the book of Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 19, about 10 levels. In Israel, it was a tradition. Whenever somebody have scratch or rash, you go to the priest so they will examine you. And if they discover that this particular rash that you are having is a sickness that could be transferred, then they will isolate you. So these people, they were turning over. When they went to the priests, then they examined them and they told them quite right that you are not supposed to be in this particular community. I don't know which sickness that you are carrying. I don't know what is your problem. That your family has already set you aside. That the doctor told you you will never make it in life. I want to assure you tonight, in this house of prayer, it shall be well in the name of Jesus. Isolated, nobody cares about you. Nobody don't want to know what you are doing. They never know absolutely about you. And I'm sure there are people amongst us tonight. Your sickness has caused trouble between you and your family. Your problem has caused barrier between you and your family. But I want to assure you tonight let your heart not be troubled. Talk to your neighbor, say never. Talk to your neighbor, say never. You are in the right place. They got an information. God will reveal something to them. That Jesus is coming to pass by. Jesus is going from Jerusalem. Going to the other side of God. And these people prepare already. Because these people who are isolated. There was no way they could turn or talk to other people. It was only when God bring an information for them. They believe that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many people get this information that Jesus is passing by this man. They decided to see that Jesus. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something that I learned. These people were isolated. And at that moment, because of their isolation, and the isolation that took place brought blessing for them. Because I am just thinking that if they would have been in the community, and when Jesus Christ appeared in that community, they would not consider them. They would look at the kings. They would look at the beautiful women. They would look at the beautiful men. So they would not consider them. Then they shouted. 
Jesus. Because of the, they were in the distance, then they shouted, they said, Master Jesus! Somebody shout, Master Jesus! Then one person 
Where are they? I'm a group near it. This is what is happening today in our homes. You women will frustrate your husbands because you have no amount of appreciation to appreciate your husband for the good job that he is doing. Even when the husband goes for work, when the husband comes back, Thank you. 
go with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will bring you to a land that is playing with milk and honey. You listen last night. The land that you are going, if you have been suffering 2019, as we are going to 2020, your name is going to be changed.
the God that speaks and it comes to pass. Yeah, what can we ask? Is it your godliness? Is it your education? Is it your height? 
Your nationality, your country background, your gender, your roots and your lights. Off your skin. Off your skin. Lift up your hands. And just begin to appreciate it. For you, Spirit!
Welcome to 2020. Welcome to 2020. Thank you for 2020. You are still alive. You are still alive.
By slapping you in the dream, by hitting you in the dream, by pursuing you in the dream, by feeding you in the dream, by oppressing and suppressing you in the dream, it made a way for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Yalla mi am katan. The omniscient God. Yalla mi ham lep. The omnipresent God. Yalla mi ngam ne mungi funeka. The impossibility specialist. Ki mun likian munut. The God that speaks and it comes to pass. Ki de wakte mui am. The great I am. Yalla mu magabi. The God of Abraham. Yalum Abraham. The God of Isaac. Yalum Isaac. And the very God of Jacob. Yalum Jacob. The God of the Hebrews. Yalum het Hebrew. The God that watches over the land of Israel. Ki de hold the ki Israel. The God that neither sleeps nor slumbers. Ko ham ne du ine lau te du jin ko. Bless be your holy name. Ge bar ke satur. Bless be your holy name. Ge bar ke satur. Bless be your holy name. Ge bar ke satur. We glorify you. Nung la jo da. We exalt you. Nung la ma. We magnify you. Nung la ma. We praise you. Nung la tagas. We adore you. Nung la nau. Because you alone are God. Mit yo rek ya ya. Behind you there is none. In front of you there is none. Around you there is none. Above you there is none. Underneath you there is none. It's you and you alone. That is what we have come to do. We are magnified. We are exalted. Remain blessed. Because you are the Almighty God, Holy Spirit of the Living God, the Spirit that searches me in the very deep things of God. Take your right hand. Do something good and great in the life of your children. All those that are gathered here on this holy and exalted mountain. Give them their own package. <laughs> Give them their own testimony. <laughs> this year, 2020, let it be the best year they have ever seen. The best year they have ever seen. The best, the best year they have ever experienced. Let this year bring a lifting. Bring joy. Bring celebration. And jubilation in their lives. And let it be permanent. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
A king of his head. Rising and falling. To rise and fall. Watch out. Permanent end. It means permanent end. To disgrace and shame. To disgrace and shame. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. As my right hand is lifted up. As my right hand is lifted up. I give you permission. I give you permission. To enter into my life. To enter into my life. I give you permission. I give you permission. To enter into my life. To enter into my life. Permission. I, I give, give you permission, you permission to do anything. To do anything in my life. In my life. To make me great. To make me great. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. As my hand is lifted. As my hand is lifted. I decree and declare. I decree and declare that my victory. That my victory. That my victory. That my victory shall be permanent. Shall be permanent. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I lift up my hands, as I lift up my hands, I decree and declare. I decree and declare that harassment, that harassment is over in my life. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. As I lift up my hands, as I lift up my hands, I decree and declare. I decree and declare that I am well. That I am well. That I am healed. That I am healed. That I am established. That I am established. My testimony. That my testimony must bring forth speedy. Must bring forth healing. In the name of Jesus. 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 My father, my maker. My father, my maker. As my hands are lifted. As my hands are lifted. I decree and declare. I decree and declare that the battle is over. That the battle is over. My father and my maker. My father and my maker. As my hands are lifted. As my hands are lifted. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare the battle of my life. That the battle of my life is finally over. Is finally over. My father and my maker, I decree and declare. I decree and declare my hands that are lifted up. That my hands are lifted up. The battle of my life. The battle of my life is finally over. It's finally over. It is 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 over. Sickness is over. Sickness is over. Disease is over. Disease is over. Calamity is over. Calamity is over. Sickness is over. Sickness is over. Every 
The prophet. The prophet. After all, I don't even live here. So I'm free to say anything. When he was considered, it was the only prophet. Tell him your husband. The prophet says. Prophet Mune. He should stop following small girls. By the top of the day. Then I saw the first day. When this can I'm going to you. Please. 
When he walks past uh, Potiphar's wife, was interested in uh, uh, According to the Bible scholars and researchers, they said the wife of Potiphar was a witch. She read the star of Joseph and knew that this man carries a nation. That the easiest way to capture the guy is to open him. But Daniel.
have a Bible. Today I'm going to read it. Quickly open to 1 Kings chapter 17. Uh, Ibi, 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter 17. 1 Kings. The Lord said I should tell you. Boro mine ma wax len ne. The Lord said I should tell you. Boro mine ma wax len ne. That day that do come. Ni de ñew si mom. Must believe that he is God. War na ñew gob ne mom moy Yalla. Every man that comes to you and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. He is a reward. He, God, is a reward. He is not only God, but he is also a reward of them that diligently seek him.
Chicago head of uh, police. Chicago, police, Chicago. 
like angels will be, will be guarding you and manning you. So that whatever you say, and hide by the book cherry.
my soul, change my soul, but your power, change my soul, but your power, your power, your power, your power, your power, your power,